Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why do we have daylight saving time? Daylight saving time, DST, is a practice that involves advancing clocks to make better use of the longer daylight hours available during the summer months. This concept has been around for over a century and has its roots in several key historical and practical factors. The idea of DST was first suggested in a whimsical essay by Benjamin Franklin in 1784, but it didn't become a widespread practice until World War I. During this time, countries like Germany, Britain, and the United States adopted DST as a way to conserve energy by reducing the need for artificial lighting. In the United States, DST was first implemented in 1918 as a wartime measure to add more daylight hours and conserve energy resources. This practice continued sporadically until the Uniform Time Act of 1966, which standardized DST across the country. According to this law, states that observe DST must do so uniformly, starting and ending on the same dates set by the federal government. The primary goal of DST is to shift the hours of human activity to make the best use of daylight. By setting clocks forward by one hour in the spring, people can enjoy more daylight in the evening after their workday, which is seen as more practical and energy efficient. For example, in American temperate latitudes, the sun rises early in the summer, and by treating an earlier hour as if it were later, people can wake up closer to sunrise and be active in the evening light. During World War II, some countries kept their clocks continuously advanced by an hour to further conserve energy. In the United States, this null war time null was implemented from February 1942 to September 1945. The start and end dates of DST have varied over the years. In the United States, DST currently begins on the second Sunday in March and ends on the first Sunday in November. This change was implemented in 2007 to extend the duration of DST. Not all states observe DST, however. Hawaii and Arizona are the exceptions, primarily due to their geographical locations. Hawaii, being close to the equator, experiences minimal changes in sunrise and sunset times throughout the year, making DST less beneficial. Arizona, except for the Navajo Nation, which does observe DST, also does not follow this practice due to its hot desert climate. The implementation of DST is not without controversy. There have been several attempts to make DST permanent, such as the Emergency Daylight Savings Time Energy Conservation Act in 1973, and more recent bills like the Sunshine Protection Act introduced in 2021. However, these attempts have been met with mixed public opinion, as some argue that the benefits of energy savings are outweighed by the disruptions to daily routines and health impacts. How Daylight Saving Time Works When DST begins, clocks are set forward by one hour, typically at 2 a.m. local time, skipping the hour from 2 to 2.59. This results in a 23-hour day. Conversely, when DST ends, clocks are set back by one hour, resulting in a 25-hour day, with the hour between 1, 1, and 2 occurring twice. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.